start where uh, with what started it all. Almost goes without saying, hex. So I'm going to bring up uh, cryptographics. By the way, I'm going to drop a link to crypto cryptographics book. Hopefully, I have that around here somewhere because definitely want people to check out his book. Let's see. Let me. Let me get to his website and then I think I can find it, but I want to make sure everyone can see that as well. So this is the book, but I want to bring up graphics, his website, cryptographics.com. It's under his products. If you haven't, if you haven't downloaded or seen his book yet, it is fantastic. And let's see, we'll be, here we go, Crypto Bible, there it is. So it's free, you just gotta add it to your car and it doesn't charge you any money or anything. And I was interested in that, that's what I'm gonna be going through today. You can download it for free. So let's start with Hex. I'll get back to chat in a moment, but uh, let's start with Hex. So if you're not familiar, again, this is a graphics book. Uh, it's a Crypto Bible. Amazing stuff, Book of Hex. What is it? Smart contract on the Ethereum blockchain, soon to be Pulse Chain, of course. A certificate of deposit, basically lock up your coins. You earn yield. You can lock it up for up to 15 years, 3.69% uh, uh, inflation and yield. And let's see, I don't want to butcher all this stuff. I'm trying to, trying to read and poke around here a minute. You can hold it liquid. There's HSIs, which we get into with Hedron as well. There's like add-ons to Hex. But everything starts with Hex. Everything that comes after Hex, all the different products, even Pulse Chain was meant to solve a problem. High fees for, for Hex, right? That was the original idea. So here's a staking flow chart. Choose how many days you want. Pay the gas fee. Wait till it ends. There's also emergency in staking. Um, do not recommend you do that unless absolutely necessary because you're going to lose a lot of stuff. There's all kinds of math around. You know, you lose a lot of it towards the end and all that stuff. So anyways... It's a uh, trustless income while you sleep. Fantastic. Don't have to play the market cycles. Don't have to get fudded out. Good stuff. You have a hex stake, no matter what's going on, unless you take a huge, huge penalty, you're not going to fud yourself out. It's great. So T-shares, of course, everything's based on that. Uh, if you want to own more T-shares, you get more. This is essentially own more T-shares, you get more hex, you get more payouts. Uh, Beautiful system, beautiful, beautiful system. So I'm not going to deep dive into each one of these. Again, there's a whole book that talks about all this, but I just want to give you a picture. People who aren't super familiar, this is how the stuff works at a high level. And uh, of course, with Hedron and stuff, I bring the experts in to deep dive on that stuff because uh, it, it, there's a lot going on. But what you need to know is longer pays better, bigger pays better. You lock it up, you're in interest. Price tends to go up historically. There you go. That is uh, that is heck. So again, I dropped the link in the chat. You can check check out uh, Cryptographics. Awesome book. We're gonna come back to uh, in it to it in a minute. Let's see. Let me get down to Hedron, and then we'll yeah. I'll leave it here for a sec. But I wanted to check out also hexmodel.com, another fantastic website by Dev Huey. The link for the T-shirt. I really don't remember where I got this t-shirt. I, I wish I could tell you. I just Google for hex swag and I find it on different websites and uh, I, you know, I buy it from time to time. So sorry, I, I really don't remember. It's been a while since I bought this one. So hexmodel.com, we'll talk about communists in a bit too. Um, let's see. So yeah, you can just see different charts with different payouts. There's obviously hexfire.io. I had Crispy on the show yesterday. Also a fantastic website. You can get you know, 100 different models and charts and uh, different stuff for it. Stake text, in-stake penalties. You can look at the price. Um, you can look at the T-share price as well. Let's just look at, let's go to Nomics real quick. Check the price of Hex. We know the monthly chart looks, whoa, what the hell is that? What's going on, Does Zoom in. That does not look correct. What is up? Hmm. Okay. 
Don't know why it's displaying like that. It's fine earlier. Okay, there you go. That looks better. So anyways, uh, what was it? Somebody said January 11th. If you would have... See somebody tweet that today. If you would have bought January 11th, I think that was supposedly the previous local bottom at least. Could be the bottom bottom, but uh, that's kind of hard to say at this point. But anyways, uh, price price been going up. We'll see what happens this year. We'll see what happens next week or month and Pulse Chain launch, but Price has been going up recently. So just want to show that. And Hex Holders, another great website, hexdailystats.com. We can see that the holders, every day, hundreds of more people. These are not, you know, some of them are, we can also put stakers on here too. But as far as holders go, just new wallets that have Hex in them. These are really good stats. Hundreds of people each day. Half a million holders that's an incredible number if you just look where Hex came from, but it's a drop in the bucket to our potential for how many wallets we can actually get with Hex. And I wonder with, uh, yeah, so with Pulse Chain, same number uh, at the fork, well, you'll have Pulse Chain, you'll have Hex in your Pulse Chain wallet as well. Could you say that there's Hex in millions of wallets? Because <laughs> you got uh, ETH POW, ETH Fair, every Ethereum fork plus Pulse Chain will have hex in those wallets. So as you could say, at the Pulse Chain launches, there's over 2 million wallets with hex in them over the different networks. Um, so cool stuff there. And let's see, with that, I will go into Hedron and then I'll look at chat in a minute. I'm just gonna, I wanna blaze through a little bit of this so we can talk about them. Number one, Hedron. So let's see what you guys can see. Can you see that okay? So he drawn lots of different ways to look at the ideal ethos, the product um, token that represents a B share, turns your hex stake into a Bitcoin miner. You know, Alex from Hedron said that before. Basically, you can mint coins from your hex stakes. So if you have hex stakes, you can mint Hedron up until the stakes ending. There's also borrowing and lending. There's auctions. We'll check out uh, was it Hedron dot today. It's a really cool a community made auction site. There's HSIs, which are tradable hex stakes, NFTs, um, lots of fun stuff in the ecosystem. So let me throw up. So again, amazing book from Graphics, has a bunch of stuff on Hedron. I uh, won't get into it too much, but let me throw up the Hedron doc today. You can look at the auctions and the auctions play a part in <laughs> ICOSA, which we'll get to as well, and all kinds of fun stuff. But you can see all these are wrapped hex stakes that you can bid on. And there's been people been getting a good deal. I've been live streaming before and we've been watching the auctions and I think one went for, you know, 60% off of what the actual value for the hex is in those stakes. So don't sleep on these auctions. If you're looking to get a good deal on some of the stuff, throw that in the chat. So that's Hedron up today. And then we have app.icosa.pro, which is the DeFi portal. Nope. Not right now. DeFi portal. And again, if you know, if I was if I had MetaMask logged in, we could look at you know your different Hedron stakes. Yeah, you can't see them right now, but you can look at the auctions uh, tab. You can look at hex here. You can manage your hex stakes here or go to hex.com slash stake. You can uh, look at your HSIs, you can make new HSIs. You can look at your Watts NFTs, which we'll get to as well as a as an aside because we can't talk about Hedron ecosystem without talking about those NFTs. They're, they're very cool. And you can also look at your yield. You can stake Hedron, you can stake Icosa as well. Lots of lots of fun stuff. So that's app.icosa.pro. So I'll just leave that there for a minute. Go back to the Bible, the crypto Bible. And then actually, let me go over to Hex Model. Yeah, Hex Model's got Hex stuff. It's got Icosa, Watts, of course, maybe Hedron. Lots of cool daily stats for Hedron here too. Yeah, you can see how much minted, loaned. Just, you can, like, this stuff is super cool. Burned, interest rates, 
all kinds of great stuff. So very cool. Again, I don't want the stream to be like two hours long. So just going to go through these and then again, pick up graphics book if you want to deep dive, because it's got a lot of amazing stuff. Let me get to Icosa. Yeah, here's a great uh, HSI flowchart. Cool, cool stuff. So Icosa. So Icosa, you think about it as improving the Hedron ecosystem with staking, uh, sending more HSIs, again, like the X NFTs to the auction to burn Hedron. Uh, you stake Hedron and stake Icosa to earn both or trade HSIs in for Icosa. And you may know it as the massive yield coin, as literally, if you've been staking for the past few months or so, you may have seen over 100% APY type stuff. It's just incredible. Um, amazing stuff. So yeah, some people have literally been getting 100%. I've heard high, even higher numbers, but I, uh, again, I'm not here for moon mass stuff, but amazing, ama amazing addition to the Hedron ecosystem. And uh, we can also see some of the Icosa stats with hex model. So again, you stake heat, you see, you stake Hedron to earn, I know I'm gonna mess this up. You stake Hedron to earn Icosa and you stake Icosa to earn both Icosa and Hedron. You may correct me in the chat if I'm wrong, uh, but it's, I believe that is the case. And you can see a ton of Icosa staked, nine, almost 92%. It like, you can see the motivations for staking. It's kind of a no brainer if you look at the numbers. Uh, that's why most people are doing it. Hedron, good, good portion of it is. Again, uh, Icosa seems to be the biggest yield of the pools. You can look down the different wells and sharks in them. With, uh, let's see. Yeah, amazing, amazing stuff. Uh, and Icosa, another big part of the Hedron ecosystem. So, and then Watsa. So let's click on Watsa real quick. I don't know if graphics mentions Watsa. Not sure if he does. No, Book of Synergy too. So yeah, so that's cool. Basically, positive price feedback loops. He goes over some of that stuff too. But with Watsas, these are these limited edition NFTs backed by or redeemable for Icosa. And uh, you could have traded in Hex. You could have traded in uh, other coins to get them uh, during the launch period, maybe 10 days or so. So it's basically a game of chicken. With There's about 21,000 Watsa NFTs in existence right now. Each one that is burned increases the position of the pool. And therefore, the, the value based on the amount of Icosa that can be minted from burning it for everyone else. So your, your Watsa is accruing Icosa over time. And when you burn it, you can get the Icosa for it. Then, that, then you're out of the pool. And then that gives a bigger share of the Icosa to everyone else. So it's this game of who's going to burn it first. The people hang on the longest can mint the most Icosa. That's sort of deal. And it tends to get a lot less attention than Hedron and Icosa because, as Dipcatcher nicely put it the other day, I thought this was great. There's no public chart that that looks to trade it. You know, it's an NFT. Uh, however, Dev Huey to the rescue, as always, has some cool charts on it, and you can see the different uh, the different numbers and the chart. Uh, there's I don't know if the chart is. You'll see the number of what's a goes down over time. So it's actually one of the charts you would like to see go down. Instead of number go up, you want to see a what's a number go down if you are what's a holder. So very cool stuff. And we will go to, let's see this. I'm not sure if, if, um, If graphics talks about Maximus, but I want to hit on Maximus real quick. No, it goes to Pulse Chain. Okay, cool. Well, I will just touch on Maximus. So what is it? MaximusDAO.com, I believe. So Maximus is cool. It's a trustless staking pools. Pretty, pretty innovative stuff. So even more of not giving your keys to companies to stake it 
and maybe eventually lose all your money. You don't have to do that. Uh, you have an audited contract that pays you what owes you in due time. It's simple. So for example, with uh, Maximus, so there's Maximus ecosystems that are a whole bunch of different coins. With Maxi, the first product is a 15 year stake. So at the time to get into it, you could have traded your hex one for one to, for Maxi. And these coins theoretically should always be at a premium because they represent a trustless pool of the state tax, right? So what are some of the advantages of doing this other than obviously earning more or the coin theoretically being worth more because it's a representation of you earning all the uh, yield of a 15 year stake, which is a huge amount that uh, that's easier than solo staking. So future gas fee savings. So when you in stake and hex, depending on how big and how long, I think actually mostly how long your stake is, it can be expensive. So some of the 15 year stakes won't even be profitable to end. So some of them will just go without ending, which I guess for, for hex holders, it's not a bad deal. But if you own that stake, bad deal, right? You want to be able to end your stake, but it's just expensive on Ethereum, at least at today's numbers and future projections, unless a massive gas fee saving stuff comes up and saves us all or pulse chain, right? Pulse chain should be cheap fees, at least for a while. Um, or you just make a stake that's so big that you don't care for it to take a certain percentage out. And there's a calculator. Uh, I don't have it off the top of my head, but there's a calculator to show you the in-stake uh, suspected gas fee, estimated gas fees as well. Anyways, gas fee savings for longer stakes versus the smaller solo stakes. And it also uh, makes your, gives you liquidity. So you have a representation of hex in a pool of a 15 year stake with maxi. And there's, there's the other ones too. There's perpetuals, there's, a whole bunch of different ones and you can trade it. So some people will say, Hey, I don't want to trick my heck. I don't want to trade my heck stake. That's me save myself for myself. Hey, I agree with you in a lot of ways. I feel you. However, if you want liquidity on a trustless stake pool token, Maximus frads that gas, fee, gas fee savings. Um, it, again, it makes the pulled hex tradable. And then they created diamond hands, which is for the perpetuals, which are for, uh, one, three, seven, and 10 year stakes that uh, the Diamond Hands program is an optional feature that allows you to stake the perpetuals too. So, in case you are afraid you're going to get rid of them, you don't have to remove that feature of Hex, you know, locking it up, not being able to move it out of your wallet. You can use Diamond Hands to, to mitigate some of that too. So, that is Maximus. And uh, that is the, let's see, let's take a look at the Maxi. Price right now, we'll look at the perpetuals before we go on to the next one. So you can see, see the hex price was, yeah, 049, this is 60. You can see there's a premium there. You can look at different perpetuals like Lucky. Whoa, that's not a premium. Interesting, well, don't wanna say there's an opportunity there, but let's, let's look at the, uh, let's see. Yeah, I think the, the perpetuals have been trading lower for some reason. And I knew I thought that went away. I thought uh, all those opportunities got bought up already, but perhaps not. Let's see. What do we got? Uh, base. Let's look at maximum base. Yeah, very interesting. Like that's just that's trading just around. So different. That could be based on different factors. Again, the market not not recognizing this opportunity, not take advantage of it. Liquidity pools could be thin. There's a bunch of different stuff that could be uh, make that. But in theory, they should have a premium. Now, whether that premium is now or that premium is near when the stake ends, when you can actually claim the value, we'll have to see. Yes, yes, uh, UFO could be arbitrage opportunities as well. It's true. So let's move on to, and I'll, I'll talk to the chat in just a minute. Just want to get through these couple more. So we're coming up on number three because I just threw Watte in as sort of a, an aside because I, you know, I need to talk about it. I'm talking about Hedron ecosystem. Let's talk about so PSLD, PLSD. Let's see, There's different ones as as we went through a long time ago when it first came out. Meme coins, right? It's about free claims. It's about staking. It's about airdrops. 
no matter what you think of the meme coins or, or otherwise, it aims to be the premier meme coin and sub ecosystem for Pulse Chain for, for meme stuff. There's other meme coins as well, poor pleb, all that. But uh, with PLSD, it seems to be uh, the most popular one, I would think. Uh, a lot of people like this one, some of them don't, some don't like the founder, whatever. You, all that aside, you can't argue with the free money that came out of it because I think, uh, what was it? They were worth, in the beginning, they were worth a dollar or something. And you could claim, depending on your, uh, the distribution model was like, they want to reward the smaller and middle class people that had stakers, that were hex stakers instead of the whales. So you could have got like $800, $1,000 out of it just for having hex stakes or having hex. Um, so we're having hex stakes. That's what it was. Yeah, it's been a while since uh, I looked at this one. Anyways, now they've built like this uh, meme ecosystem with ASIC. You can use to mine uh, Pulse Bitcoin. They have a limited edition NFT available as well, I think. So yeah, this whole app where you can like, you can use ASIC to start mining Pulse Bitcoin. And then part of it is burned when you end the stake and, and all this like, stuff so they're trying to be like this meme ecosystem within pulse chain uh, which is available you know on ethereum right now and you'll get your copies on pulse chain when it launches of course so that is another big strong community uh around uh, around pulse chain and was free for hex stakers so there you go a lot of people like these guys and then we got let's look at weight so this is from Xerox Coast team. And let's see, xerxcoast.com. And then do they have the weight? Should have weight on here. Yeah, xerxweight.com. So weight is the free claim for those waiting on Pulse Chain, lol. And, uh, and SAC for it, or PulseX, or various projects that are launching on Pulse Chain. So the founders are also working on fiat on ramp for Pulse Chain. Next to, it seems like a very ambitious and diligent dev team from what I've seen so far. You know, they're they're very publicly available as far as talk, work, uh, talking about what they're working on, building these projects. And so you never know what the use case is uh, post Pulse Chain launch. We don't really know. Uh, will it be used for fees for the for the uh, fiat on ramp burning staking. No wait expectations. We'll just have to wait and see. But you can uh, claim it up until Pulse Chain launches. And then there's a V2 coming out as well. I believe they posted something. Let me see. I think they posted an update. Yeah. So I think, let's see. Remember to claim your wait on Ethereum before Pulse Chain is live. So I think when Pulse Chain goes live, you can claim, you can uh, swap to wait v2 and this is a dashboard on private test net they uh, put out here so interesting stuff with wait another free claim uh, you can claim if you sack for projects uh, select number of projects or pulse chain you can claim it up until pulse chain launches so cool stuff now last but not least we got a bonus that thing that was number five but i'll put a bonus in there because this has been talked about recently and has gotten a couple nods from some OGs. So I think it's like communist.app. So communists, sorry, communists, not communist. It is communist. It just happens to look like communist. Communist. Say it with me. Communist. That kind of sounds like communist, actually. Communist. There you go. So if you have hex stakes, you can mint COM from those hex stakes. And so, no, so, and you can stake, you can only stake, here's what's interesting about this one. You can only stake the minted COM from your stakes. So if you mint it, you can stake it. So you can't buy it off the market and stake it. There's, you can't become a whale just because you have a bunch of money and you wanna buy it off market and then stake it. You need to actually have uh, a vested interest in the hex ecosystem, be a big staker, and then you can stake that communist you minted off of your hex stakes. So that was a cool uh, deal they put in there to reward actual hex stakers, you know, not and not let people game the market by becoming wells from just buying a bunch off the market if the hex if the price dipped 
and all that. So they really want to reward hex stakers, not just those who want to get in early and be wells in the staking pool. And I saw that Alex from Hedron had an interesting comment on this. Should I build something that burns uh, communists and lets HSI stakers play the game? There you go. So sounds like it may be around for a while. Sounds like people may be building on it. Uh, at least an ideal has been thrown around. So could be <laughs> actually I'm guessing you already have astute observation. Got to wait and see. Should be cool though. Should be cool. So those are the top five plus a bonus or so plus an aside with Plata that I've seen as far as free claims, airdrops, and staking, cool staking stuff in the RH in or highly related to the RH ecosystem. 